and welcome to another video. Today I will show you, let's say, sequel or variation to this AutoCAD drawing to equipment script. This script was able to place families in Revit by their location from AutoCAD, but only for square or rectangular objects. Uh, some time ago I did have a need that perform the same actions but uh, for element that have a symbol in AutoCAD like a round uh, object either a circle or arc or some combination of uh, elements but their location was determined by the circle in most cases so this script wasn't able to handle that case and also the majority of those um, elements which we needed to add inside the Revit was face based uh, families and also uh, maybe you know maybe you don't know but i did create a couple of more scripts that was uh, able to create either pipe dots or cable trace from the autocad uh, and like a sequel to that script was creation of the fittings that you need for those installations so if you have a need uh, to check those scripts you can also find it on uh, on the youtube channel now what we have over here basically I have some sample building uh, which have two floors and two ceilings and we want to place let's say fire alarm devices in, inside this building. I will show you two cases. Uh, first case is when we are actually working in the same model where we have architectural. That is a bit simpler uh, case to work. And then I will also show you how to work with this script in case when you are inside the MEP model and you have architectural model as a Revit link. And of course I will show you Dynamo and explain the nodes. So let's start with uh, this uh, with this building. So for example we can go on the first floor over here I did add AutoCAD and we will call Dynamo Player if you're working the same model where you have uh, architectural elements you can uh, finish everything uh, inside dynamo player for that second case where you have Revit links you will need to work from dynamo first things first uh, you will need to select a family that you want to use for those symbols uh, over here i did choose smoke detectors if you have like a need to see the entire name you can extend this dynamo player and it will show the full name then you should select the face so when you're working with architectural elements you can pick any face for example this is the AutoCAD for the first floor we will also create those elements for the second floor but if we want to create them on this first floor we will click over here select and we can select this face for example now we need to select AutoCAD file select we did select AutoCAD file and finally we must uh, say from which layer we want to pick those circles or arcs or combination of different um, lines curves and so on if you know the uh, layer name that is great you can just type it over here if you don't know the name you can click on the AutoCAD, click over here on the query and then click on the element and then Revit will show you what is the layer name. Please be precise when you are typing uh, this name it must be exactly the same. So small capital letters, spaces and so on it must be the same. And that is it. Let's go to the 3D view so we can show those elements. I did run the script. And we have those elements. Let's just close section box and switch to wireframe. Uh, wireframe. And okay, we have our elements. Let's just cross check with AutoCAD. Let's see if I did turn fire alarm devices over here. F fire alarm devices. Okay. So the location it is okay um, and we have all the elements and their orientation with those face based elements usually uh, you will have a problems with orientation in this case everything is okay again if we want to run again 
the script but for the second floor let's say that everything is the same just the face will be different i'm not sure if i did insert autocad for the second floor i did okay select same layer name run again let's turn on the fire alarm devices cool let's see in 3d view we have those devices and their orientation it is okay so when working with architectural elements it is very easy to run this script now i will open um, like a new project where i have architectural model as a link to show you how to work then with the script okay now essentially the same same files just in this case uh, entire building uh, is a Revit link so if we move this we have over here only uh, two levels so I will move that building back let's go to uh, wireframe now let's go to this first floor again i did insert the autocad uh, but now uh, the biggest change between uh, these two cases is how you will select face so if we now open dynamo player and if we want to select the face we will be unable to select face from the linked model uh, and that is why we will need to open Dynamo and inside Dynamo we will have a dedicated node which will be able to select face from the linked model. Okay, we have the same family uh, and now when we want to select the face I will click over here on select but I am clicking on the left click but I am unable to select those faces. Maybe you will say that I should change the discipline Okay, let's now try to select face, but still uh, it doesn't matter, uh, Revit will not let us with this uh, select face that we select the face from architectural model. So that is why uh, when you have this case uh, that the faces that you want to select are in the link to the Revit file, then you cannot proceed with Dynamo player. Now we will open the script from Dynamo. Okay. This is the entire script. I'll explain the nodes. Um, I think I didn't use any Python nodes. So uh, again, uh, like a difference to the previous video. Uh, some people will say, why do you use uh, custom packages? Different people will say, why didn't you use custom packages? Because it is hard to understand. But okay, I hope that the script will be helpful. And for the people who knows Python, they can uh, optimize the script. For the people who will see the script for the first time and maybe nodes for the first time, uh, for them it will be helpful to know uh, which custom packages and nodes they need to uh, install and to insert inside the script. So, uh, what we need to change when we have a linked model variation of the workflow. Uh, over here, in this blue let's say group I have all the inputs that we need uh, why we cannot uh, use dynamo player for this situation because uh, this is a native dynamo node and because it is a native node you can right click on that node and you can declare that node to be an input so in that previous case when we did select the face we did select it and we did so that field in the dino player because I did declare that node to be an input. Now we need to use a custom node from spring uh, package and uh, for the custom nodes you cannot declare them uh, to be an input and that is why we need to open dynamo to change a couple of things and then we can run the script. So first things first uh, I did freeze this node because uh, if you don't freeze this node when you want to run the script from the dino player you will actually run the script and then uh, the script will ask you okay which phase from the linked model you want to select there is no need for that if you don't need to select phase from linked model but now we need to do that so now i need to let's say unfreeze uh, this node over here i can freeze this node over here because we don't need that node 
this node cannot select faces from the linked model uh, this node can do that and now we will just reconnect uh, this um, wire that was previously connected so now we will took this surface and we will connect that to over here and this node will give us possibility to select the face from the linked model uh, so the family it is the same uh, I'm not sure for the AutoCAD let's let's click on that AutoCAD uh, let's try to split those windows uh, we don't need this and we don't need this okay so we did choose the family we want to check and to change this AutoCAD okay now we did select it over here you can type um, what is the name uh, for that layer uh, over here we did reconnect uh, this face so now in order to select for example that ceiling we will need to go to the 3d view and that is it we can run the script and now uh, the script basically asks us to select uh, face uh, but because you can have multiple Revit links uh, in your project at first you will need to click on that Revit link and then uh, this spring node will let you that you select a face now I want to select this face and now the script did place our elements we can check the location again Autodesk template uh, will not show by default fire alarm devices they are on the correct place we have them over here and now if you want to run the script for a different case for different uh, floor and so on because uh, dynamo will save our current values you must uh, close dynamo and open it again and i didn't save the script so now again I must unfreeze this, freeze this node and reconnect this surface. Okay. Family, let's say it's the same. Uh, let's again select that AutoCAD. Uh, but now it will be better if we isolate this AutoCAD so we want to select that AutoCAD now smoke detectors okay uh, now for the face we will take second ceiling and we have those elements and now for a minute or two I will try to explain uh, this script so I hope that you understand our inputs over here you have just like a general nodes that you will need to install uh, this bimorph nodes and these spring nodes uh, you have this node for the spring you have this node over here for the bimorph nodes what uh, does this node uh, in our script it will actually took uh, AutoCAD file it will search for this layer and it will took all the elements which you have over here now I did say on the beginning uh, usually with those round elements you will usually have a circle or arc for the element which will determine uh, the location because you can have either either one of uh, them over here at first I did ask for the arc center point and then I will check uh, if I have now values or not uh, then basically over here because in this case we don't have arc we have only these circle elements uh, we will proceed uh, with circle then for circle center point we will find the center points because you can have um, more than one circles for the same element over here it is very important uh, that you perform uh, prune duplicates this is just to flatten the list so there is no need to have zero because the zero is only index over here so we did flatten this list 
uh, over here we will create some logic to check uh, if we need to continue with arc or circular elements. Usually you will not have a case that you have a combination of those two. Either uh, somebody did draw circles in the AutoCAD or uh, arcs. So uh, over here we will have if else. Uh, if empty for uh, arc we will continue with circles. If not empty for arc we will continue with arc. And over here, like a final node, you will have a family instance by face, uh, which family type, family type that you did choose at input. So family that you did choose over here. A face, we did talk about the face. If you are in the same model where you have architectural, then you will, you will use this node. If not, you will use this node. Location, location is presented uh, with the points, so whatever you have over here, it will go over here to the location, if arcs, uh, points for the center of arcs, if circles, uh, center points of circles. Reference direction, you can have anything over here except uh, that component, because that is usually parallel to the face. Uh, you cannot um, use this script to place elements which go on the wall, which go on the vertical elements. So this script is useful only for the elements that will go on the ceiling or in that space between the ceiling and the floor uh, or slab. So uh, placing elements on vertical faces will ask for different kind of script. So over here you can either have x or y axis uh, for the reference direction but actually if you have y direction over here it will not change anything and that is basically it if you have any questions let me know thank you for watching bye